100 feet below the ocean's surface, a rare sea snail is being harvested for an unusual purpose. Giant keyhole lipids contain a blood protein that helps the human body fight cancer. You look at it, there's absolutely no reason to think that it would have anything to do of importance. But then you realize you now have a huge industry developed around a protein isolated from this little critter. International pharmaceutical companies pay $50,000 per gram for the snail's blood protein, which is being tested in more than 20 different types of cancer vaccines. That's because their blood contains KLH, keyhole lymphid hemocyanin. KLH is a complex molecule that the body recognizes as foreign, which wakes up the immune system. With cancer, the body cells multiply uncontrollably, and the immune system doesn't see its own cells as a threat. So researchers have figured out how to take markers for a specific type of cancer and attach KLH before inserting them into a vaccine. Once administered, KLH stimulates the immune system and the patient's antibodies see the markers. Like a signpost, the markers point toward the patient's cancer. This process trains the immune system to fight the patient's specific type of cancer. But generating a steady supply of KLH is tricky. It requires enough giant keyhole limpets to produce the blood protein. The snails only live in one small stretch of the Pacific Ocean, from the coast of Monterey, California, to Baja, Mexico, and no one knows how many live in the wild. Ensuring the survival of the giant keyhole limpet population requires raising them in captivity. Only one group that I know of has been able to raise the giant keyhole limpet in captivity, and that's Stellar Biotechnologies. Here we have the giant keyhole limpet. It's kind of like an abalone, except for it has a soft skin over its shell, so it's kind of slimy. Historically, international companies have paid divers to pull the limpets off the rocks, drain their blood, and discard them back in the ocean where they quickly die. It's very archaic considering that it's very limited reproduction of this animal. But over the past 20 years, Stellar has figured out how to raise these animals in aquaculture tanks south of Santa Barbara. Careful monitoring of reproduction, water temperature, and the animal's diet has allowed scientists to raise limpets to maturity. Scientists remove a small amount of blood each year, but enough is left so they are able to replenish. Once the purified KLH protein is ready for distribution, it is shipped around the world, where it has already been approved in countries like South Korea and the Netherlands. It is currently undergoing the last stage of clinical trials before it gains U.S. approval from the FDA. The hope of the cancer vaccines that contain KLH is that one day they'll be preventative, much like the vaccines for measles and polio currently are today. Like spider venom that is being tested to relieve pain and willow trees that are used to make aspirin, organisms in nature have incredible medicinal uses. If KLH is approved as a cancer treatment in the U.S., some marine biologists worry the giant keyhole limpets could be fished nearly to extinction. Companies will need to raise the animals sustainably to preserve the population and help cancer patients for decades to come. Biodiversity is the recognition that there's a reason these animals are on the planet. And then you wonder how many other organisms are out there that uh, also have things that would benefit us. Should any of these clinical trials hit the jackpot, we don't have a huge reservoir of these animals to supply the need for further clinical trials and treatments.